Still in Leeds, this is from a series of poems which were made for a project called Leeds to Leeds, into which I was co-opted. I've been trying to keep my head under the radar. And um, somebody in this room went and put my name forward, and uh, I found that I was having to engage in a dialogue with another poet, a poetic ping-pong, and uh, write these poems in response to whatever they wrote, because I didn't go first. And um, <laughs> uh, so there are a number of poems uh, which came from that. There are one or two others that actually didn't come from that. Anyway, before Anthony Gormley, the sculptor, created the Angel of the North, he proposed this statue called the Brick Man for Leeds on a triangle of waste ground by the train station. Well, not too controversial, you might think. Well, this is a scaled-down model in the Leeds Art Gallery. The real one would have been 180 feet high. That is um, over twice the height of the Angel of the North, actually taller than the Angel of the North is wide. Uh, three times the height, I think. And for some reason, the council <laughs> got cold feet, and they wouldn't give them planning permission. So the waste ground is still waste ground, and the brick man is, in effect, the invisible man. Invisible. This is a passenger announcement. We are now approaching Leeds. Look out to see the world-famous statue gliding into view. Eleven storeys high from the door in his heel, you can climb the staircase inside to the windows in his ears, should you so wish. Built in 1989, this much-loved icon stands for everyone who comes to work or study here, then stays and gives their all. As you know, the Brick Man, star of Instagram and Snapchat, is the North's Big Ben and made the sculptor's name. Asked what he'd have done if Leeds had said no, Gormley said, some kind of metal angel. <laughs> Lucky Leeds acquired the tribute it deserved to long-termism, vision, art and nerve.